It is Friday and as you can see, I have already had such an eventful morning and it's not even everything I plan to get done. I actually have been switching my workouts to the AM, but today it just was not going. But, but I got my usual morning routine in, walked my girl Anna, got the lashes taken care of. I'm testing out a new video editor. I am super excited. This has been something I've been talking about for the past year now, so I'm gonna be reviewing their work. Hopefully they did a good job and there's somebody that I can move forward with. Then after that, I need to go over a couple of contracts because I have some brand deals and the work. Super exciting, can't say anything just yet. But if you follow me on TikTok, you will probably see me post one of them this week and the other one will actually be coming on a different platform later next month. So very, very excited and it's such it's a busy weekend here in the D, like, which is why I wanted to make sure that I captured it all for you because it's a lot going on, okay? Like, so not only do I have a museum date today, but Niani, who does my hair, who has been in charge of keeping this looking amazing and cute and sleek, she is celebrating the shop's birthday today, so I'm going to that event later this evening. And there are a couple of different events tonight. I'm trying to decide what to go to. I got invited to attend the Sorry Poppy tour, but also Sango in town. And I love me some Sango. I love me some Sango. So I may have to bail on one to go to the other because I just feel like I can't miss Sango. And then it is Afro Nation weekend on top of the Dream Cruise. So tomorrow I might try and catch a little bit of the Dream Cruise before it gets too hectic, then heading downtown to enjoy Afro Nation both Saturday and Sunday and all the other random events in between. So it's just gonna be a really fun weekend and I'm super excited to take you along. I'm gonna get into this video editing real quick, do a little light B, a very baby B. I feel like most of the time during the day, like I don't really wear heavy makeup. Like I just save my makeup honestly for like events or a night out. So I'm gonna do something just really easy, really simple, hide a couple of dark spots, maybe add some blush for my day. And because I plan to take a couple of photos while I'll be downtown before coming home, probably walking Anna, then heading to Niani's event then coming home again, probably another outfit change, to go out this evening. Like, while I am excited, I am already thinking about the nap that I'm gonna need after all this. <laughs> Let's get into the rest of this day.
Boy, we had a time last night when I tell you Sango, Sango, and I'm just so glad we've decided to make everything a verb. Like, he did that. The mixes, I really wish I could share them with y'all because they were insane. Lord, he did that. Anyway, it is Saturday. You probably hear the planes and things going by because it is the Dream Cruise today, which takes place literally just a couple blocks from my house. As you saw, all the nice old school cars, everyone's just out. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. It's going to be like up in the 80s, not a cloud in the sky, which I'm both excited and terrified for because it is also Afro Nation day one. So excited. So many good artists. Ari Lennox, Burna Boy, like it's going to be a day. So as you saw, I did my morning routine, grabbed me some breakfast. I'm going to do just a little bit of editing to make sure my video is up and ready to go for Sunday and then start to get ready hopefully in the next hour and a half. I haven't quite settled on an outfit yet because the idea of just like being outside in the sun all day, right? Like this is different than just a concert where you might be inside. I think we're planning to get there around four and then Burner Boy doesn't go on until nine. So at least five hours of just being outside. And then obviously like as the sun goes down, it's gonna be a little bit cold. So I'm trying to figure out like what makes the most sense. And you know, your girl is light skinned. So I am subject to burning. So I wanna make sure that I keep that in mind along with cute tan lines. So I'm gonna figure it out though. I'm gonna figure it out. But let me go ahead and get this editing done so I can start getting cute and really get the full enjoyment, full enjoyment of this weekend because I am so, after that Sango, after Sango, I am, I am so ready for the rest of this weekend. Officially dressed for Afro Nation. I decided just like a really easy dress. This is very breathable, very comfortable. I wore this. If you saw my solo location to Miami, to meander around Wynwood and check out all the artwork there, and it was really comfortable then for being in the sun all day. Because like I said, it is a sunny one out there. I do not think there is a cloud in the sky, so a hat for some protection. I also have a blanket to lay out on, and then I'm going to be bringing a water bottle, and I'm also gonna pack just like a oversized button up or something just so I have some coverage for my shoulders in case I do feel like it's like way too much sun because your girl be burning. I also have two power banks in here. I also have my little fan and then also sunscreen and deodorant and of course some like perfume. So enough to last through the day and hopefully stay cute and not be getting a little too hot because I know I'm going to be dancing. I am so ready to have a really good time. So, so let me let Anna out and then head to meet up with my girl Elena and we are going to head over to Afro Nation. <laughs>
It is Sunday, and as you saw, we had a torm last night. First day of Afro Nation, so I do want to share like first impressions because one, this is my first music festival ever, and then two, just generally like the thoughts on Afro Nation itself, especially if you are planning to go. I know they have more tour dates, things like that. So, so I feel like I really did like the venue choice. I was a little nervous because like grass, if it was going to be uncomfortable, if it was going to be dirty, I do feel like. Thankfully, the weather was on our side in some respects. It was really, really nice and sunny, so the ground wasn't like muddy, it wasn't gross, so I was very worried about that. So from a shoe perspective, like you really had a wide range of shoes you could wear, so it wasn't like, ooh, okay, don't wear sandals, don't wear this, but that is obviously gonna like depend on where you live and the weather where you live. The other thing that for me was just personally frustrating was that I feel like not all the information was available from the jump, because had I seen how they were gonna lay out like the golden circle, which from a money grab, I totally get, I definitely would have sprung and got the VIP tickets just to have a little bit more space to be a little bit more closer to the stage. However, I also feel like it really wasn't necessary. I feel like, of course, if you want to rub shoulders, you're trying to network, that would be good to invest that kind of money so you are around those kinds of people. But we had so much fun where we were at. I feel like it did not take away not being up close and personal with the artist from the experience itself. I feel like we met so many fun people. You could still enjoy the music. You could still enjoy like the vibe. The thing that I'm not sure if this was Afro Nation or the venue or whatever, the audio issues they ran into, I feel like every artist, that first song, they ended up having to restart because it was like the mic was working maybe on the stage, but it was not coming out those speakers for us to hear. And that happened quite a few times, which I get it. It's a festival. I don't expect perfection, but that definitely, I feel like if I was an artist, would be like, hey, wait a minute. Like, like why can't they hear me? I can hear me. So I feel like that they needed to tighten up on. So I'm a little nervous about that for today because I'm like, please, please do not. And also the MC. I feel like he's very, very hype, which I love, but I also feel like he talks too much. Just let the music ride out. Like, you know what? I feel like just play me in. Let the DJs do their thing. You do not need to interrupt. You do not need to do a roll call every couple of minutes. Like, let the DJ really roll out until the artist is like for sure ready. Don't even like overhype it because they did this a couple times too. Where it was like, okay, without further ado. And then like another five, 10 minutes go by. And I just feel like, bro, if until you know the artist is for sure ready, just play the music. Just play the music. Let us dance. Let us vibe. Let us enjoy ourselves. Like, especially because you are sitting in the sun all afternoon and this is the one rare time where you're just like okay i do not need it to be direct sunshine like i was praying for just a cloud any cloud to just bless us with a little bit of sun coverage and like today is supposed to be even hotter so i literally have to rethink my outfit because i had this really cute simone miller fit that i was gonna go ahead and wear and i was excited for the colors i literally bought a pair of sunglasses to match it but i feel like i cannot be in tight clothing today like there is not a breeze there is not even a there is not a breeze moving out there. So I know today is gonna be hot. So I know you see me with coffee, but I definitely have already drank a full water bottle and I plan to drink like two more before I even leave the house because Lord, I was in line getting some tea and this girl literally like passed out. So that brings me into like preparing for a music festival. If you've never been, what to expect, please check the weather because I knew it was gonna be hot the whole weekend. So literally I started drinking like Thursday and getting sleep on Thursday, knowing that I was gonna be in this hot sun all weekend. like. It was hot. To pay attention to what you are and aren't allowed to bring, I feel like it was really nice that they were kind of generous. In terms of what you could bring, you could bring a nice 12 by 12 bag, so it's a pretty sizable tote. You're allowed to bring like an empty water bottle, although they did not have any water filling stations, and I don't know if I missed it, but I did not see a place where you could just get water, so you had to buy water bottles at like four bucks a pop. However, my favorite tea place, Mad Tea, black owned, woman owned, she was there, so she got all my coins because Honestly, that is what I needed. She had some peppermint tea, she had some green teas. She had everything I needed to stay nice and hydrated through that whole day because Lord knows, I don't think water was gonna cut it. From a food perspective, they did have a lot of good options. I personally just hate waiting in a long line for food. So I ended up going with Swahili Village yesterday and got their jerk chicken and jollof rice, which getting to and from, we ended up Ubering and when I say like, it was an ordeal, not an ordeal, but like you had to park probably like five, 10 minute walk from the location and then walk all the way over, which mind you again, it's hot. You have all your stuff, an arm and a leg. Obviously once the festival was over, we had to go walk a distance trying to avoid the traffic. And even then it was another like 20 minute wait just for our Uber to like pick us up. So keep that in mind as you're coordinating like how much time you need to get ready, how much time to get down there, the things to bring. I ended up bringing a water bottle and a blanket. I didn't use either, I will say, my friend bought a collapsible stool, which I also bought one and got overnighted. 
and that is a game changer because you are going to want a seat please bring something to sit down at because that is something i also feel like these festivals i would like to see them do better at honestly like i totally understand you're trying to create an experience but it would be nice like sitting on the ground is just not comfortable so we should be allowed to bring lawn chairs we should be allowed to bring like you know outdoor poofs and things like that like cushions like to actually get comfortable because it's like you are there all day like i really could not imagine trying to leave out in the middle and then come back in like that just feels like doing way too much so just keep all that in mind i am not sure if i am a festival convert like i do get the hype like i am starting to enjoy concerts a lot more a lot of the artists that i had the opportunity to see when i was younger it just like they was just gonna stand on the stage and be boring but like when i say burner boy put on a show like he put on a show and like that's what i look for like i really love artists that put on a show like he was having fun he was engaging the audience like it wasn't just i'm trying to dance and be sexy it wasn't just i'm gonna sing and give you these vocals like he really did a good job of just like bringing that energy and it was i loved it i loved it so i'm really excited for today because we have masego we have coiler ray we have p square we have devito like i'm going to get my entire life right now if you are looking if you can get the early bird vip tickets i would go ahead and just do that honestly don't get me wrong again the general mission it is not bad, but I also feel like there was way more space. Like I don't, I don't feel like I have to be right up next to the stage. So there's way more space to be closer to the artist, but still have space to like spread out and stuff. I feel like obviously the downside with how they had it set up because it was gated off. Everyone's trying to crowd in the general section, like up against the fence. And so that got really irritating because y'all know how it goes. If you've been sitting there all day, you find a good spot and then suddenly people show up late and like try and squeeze their way up in front of you. Like that can just be irritating. That really does also, in my opinion, take away from the experience, which is why I generally always have liked concerts more than I've liked festivals because it's like, I have my seat. No one's gonna like bump up in front of me and like get in front of me like this is where I'm gonna be. And I like that versus like I said, it's just some people be having attitudes, they be so rude about it. And that really can like mess up the vibe of just the good time that you're having. So take that with a grain of salt if you've never been to a festival or if you are considering going to Afro Nation Festival, like that still very much is a thing. But I have some video editing to do and then I'm going to get ready for day two of Afro Nation and meet up with my girl again. We're gonna Uber back down there and we gonna have a time. It is entirely too hot for real clothes, so this is what I'm going with for day two, a cute bodysuit with a gorgeous captain layered over top. I have my collapsible chair. I have on some cozy sneakers. Your girl is ready to enjoy day two of Avro Nation. Afro Nation was a success. 2023, first ever in Detroit, y'all. I am, I am full. My cup runneth 
over. I know I throw a lot of people off because I post a lot on the internet. I come off as very extrovert. I come off as very like, and do not get me wrong. I am totally friendly. I loved getting to run into so many of you this weekend. Like the amount of people that came up, like I follow you on TikTok. I follow you on YouTube. My heart is full. But I also will say with events like that, you know what I mean? I also go for enjoyment. And I think this weekend did serve as a reminder of that. Like, I definitely had to find that balance between, yes, I want to be out here. I want to create content. I want to get a cute photo. But at the same time, like, I just love environments like that. For the most part, everybody was nice. I was vibing. I made all kinds of new friends. Like, the music, when it was going, was good. It was... A great time so my overall thoughts on this being my first music festival so my overall thoughts with afro nation i feel like the setup was pretty awesome i do feel like they had a good stage they had some shade they had the really nice huge like that was a big stage i don't know what i thought but like it was a huge stage and i really really love that i think my only beef it didn't feel like i had all the information up front when they first released tickets had i known what the golden circle would look like and all of that experience i definitely would have like i said bought the vip tickets i did kind of look at some of the other videos posted on tiktok and things like that especially miami kind of saying that it really wasn't worth paying that extra money so i do feel like afro nation did shift to kind of make sure the vip experience was a vip experience however i feel like they just didn't get the memo out to everybody i however feel like the spirit of music festivals and this is just my general opinion has just been lost like when you think about music festivals way back in the day burning man all that kind of stuff the whole point was just you gathered, you enjoyed the music. It really wasn't like, ooh, I have to be seen next to the artist. Ooh, I have to be like upfront and personal. And, and it also was like, if you wanted to, you could. It didn't matter how much money you had. And the very early festival experiences, it was just about bringing people together, having a good time. And I do feel a little gypped kind of missing out on that kind of era. Because I get what most people are thinking. It's like, okay, I'm going to buy general admission. If I'm going to be there all day, the food situation, the drink situation, like you definitely do need to be ready to spend money, right? Like from parking, even if you did park at like Ford Field, which was like 25 bucks, it's like you still have to pay for parking. If you were getting food and drinks there, you know, some of the places were charging like 20 bucks, 30 bucks for a small plate of food. So you really have to like keep that in mind as you're planning stuff like this. And I feel like it does suck that all of this has turned into so much of a money grab. And that's not a stab at Afro Nation. This I feel like is obviously true of all festivals. We've seen how Coachella has just drastically change the game in a lot of ways i do feel like the vip experience if you are gonna go honestly spend that extra hundred dollars get up close and personal but then you could back up and still have space whereas like with the general admission you were already so far back so it felt like by the time it was later in the evening everyone was really trying to get packed up and up front and see the artist which i again i totally understand but but if you're not trying to be crowded like that you're not trying to feel like bum rush definitely like get the vip experience I hope you enjoyed this glance into my weekend as a content creator, hanging out with my friends, going to the first ever Afro Nation in Detroit. Honestly, I can't get over it. It's such a huge deal. Like to see all the cool things that have been brought into Detroit over the past couple of years, this is hands down one of my favorites. And I'm so excited to see how this opens up even more doors and all other kinds of really amazing things to be going on in the D because it truly has turned into like one of my favorite places. I was not expecting to live here this long, I was not expecting to love the D as much. And as I was transitioning from my day job into content creation, everyone kept asking like, are you gonna move? Are you gonna move? And honestly, I'm so surprised. I really do love Detroit, I really do. So this made my heart so full to see not just people from Detroit coming together, but people coming from outside of, not just like the Midwest, like other countries, people from other countries flew into Detroit for like the Afro nation like that. So if you're loving this kind of content, not just seeing what I'm wearing, but getting a glimpse into my lifestyle, places I love to eat, of course my skincare routine, how I'm getting it all done, shooting the content, being a content creator, then make sure you not only hit the like button, but hit the subscribe button, follow along because I share videos twice a week on all kinds of things, not just fashion, doing more of this vlog style that you guys are loving to see, of course, travel content, beauty content, so tons of reasons to follow along, get outfit inspiration, find new in pieces, and sign up for my email list because once a month I send exclusive discounts, but I'm also introducing my capsule wardrobe picks once a month, so if you are somebody who is struggling to find the right pieces, I have exclusive roundups each month from some of my favorite places, pieces that you are going to love that are not only expressive, but also timeless, so make sure you are signed up for my email list so you do not miss any of that exclusive content either. And I will see you in just a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.